how's it going everybody welcome back to another video so a few days ago actually about a week ago uh i went diving with my friends connor and race and we sent it out on an afternoon mission after i finished school and we managed to get on some nice fish um and it was just at one of my spots that happened to be super nice that day the wind was really low and so was the swell and so we managed to get some nice fish so i'm gonna show all of those clips right now and talk about them and yeah so I hope you guys enjoy, and if you do enjoy the video, make sure you guys like and subscribe. I really appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. We're on our way to 4,000 subscribers, so if you guys could do that for me, I'd really appreciate it. And leave a comment down below if you like. Uh, that also helps out the channel a lot. So, um, without further ado, let's get into the clips. I'll see you in the water. Shoots, everybody. All right, here we go, guys. So on this drop, I had seen some moos and uku swimming around uh, while I was on some other drops earlier. And so I was kind of hunting those. So I go down and I try and tuck myself next to this ledge here because the better your hiding spot, the better you can hunt moos, the more likely they are to come in. So, and I don't know if it really helps for ukus. I don't know if it really makes a difference, but it can't hurt so i just i kind of try and get underneath this ledge as much as i can but i'm looking all around scratching and dusting all the stuff that i would do to bring in a uku or a mu and i look off into the distance and there's a uhu that's kind of creeping his way closer mm -hmm. to me so while i'm looking for this these ukus and moos which i'm not seeing at the moment i'm kind of keeping an eye on that uhu to see if he'll come in and the whole time, I'm not really seeing anything, so I'm thinking I'm probably just going to take this Uhu, considering he's coming really close. So I line up on this Uhu, just track him a little bit, and then, boom. Get a nice, nice body shot. My aim was a little bit off today, um, but it was alright, because I ended up at landing the fish that I shot at. Except one, I lost a Moo right before this, that I was pretty upset about, because he was a big one but i wasn't recording so it's all right but yeah good size uhu perfect eating size not too big not too small and this was the first fish and actually the only other fish that i shot this dive we didn't have a lot of time because by the time we got there it was kind of late and it, since it's winter the sun sets pretty early so I didn't really uh, have a lot of time to dive, so I just had this uhu to start, and then, of course, the kahala that's coming up. So while we were swimming in, I passed over this school of kahalas, and so I started dropping down, grunting and flashing the squid fingers, trying to get them to come around, because they're kind of beelining it away from me right now, but eventually they calmed down, and I line up on this one, get a solid shot there's actually that other one that was coming right at me but i didn't even see him because i was just tunnel vision on the one that i ended up shooting but yeah it didn't really matter because those two were about the same size but there were some other ones in the school that were pretty big uh probably around 15 to 20 max and i wanted to i kind of wanted to shoot those ones because my pb is actually 15 pounds but it was all right uh i'm definitely very happy with the one that i shot so after i put a whole uh put a spear in it the fight was on he's not really pulling line not really taking big runs but he was kind of staying at a depth um just kind of doing circles and every so often he would take a little run but he wouldn't run away he would kind of just run straight down and so it took a little bit to get him off the bottom and that was connor and race going down seeing if i needed a backup shot but i had a good apparently i couldn't see my shot from the surface but they said apparently i had a good shot so they kind of called off the backup but later on we ended up race ended up putting in a backup shot because 
we had seen a shark earlier when I shot my uhu, and we didn't want to take the chance of that shark coming back around and trying to eat my kahala and just harass us after. So, race ends up going down. There he is right there to put in a backup shot so we can get this thing uh, brained and on the kui faster and decrease the chance of attracting a shark because that is definitely attention that we do not want and the longer this thing is fighting the more attention it's attracting so race just puts a good shot right in the gill plate and horses this thing up to the surface on his way back up and we secured this kahala i was super stoked to shoot this kahala because it was right at like right as we were about to start swimming in and it was the last fish of the day and i've been wanting to shoot a kahala for actually a good amount of time now a few months and I don't know why, I know they have, they tend to have worms and stuff, but I just, I wanted to shoot one because they're really fun to fight and I haven't shot one in a really long time. Uh, it's been, since I think the first one I shot and the only other one that I shot was when I was around 12 years old, back when I was diving with just a rash guard and board shorts and stuff. So I was super stoked to finally get that monkey off my back and get a solid koala. So as we were swimming in, two big blue uhus swam underneath me and Connor, and Connor dropped down, put a shot in one, but it ripped off and ran underneath this rock. And for the next 15 to 20 minutes, we were kind of diving around the around the hole trying to find that blue who, because we didn't want it to just die in the hole because that would be a huge waste. So finally, after all of those drops, I look in and I see the uhu. It's dead, and he's kind of floating out at me. And I reach, I'm about to reach and grab it, but then I see this fat puhi with his mouth just wrapped around this uhu. So I put a shot in it instead, and I use my spear to yank the uhu out of his mouth. And I was definitely not going to reach my hand in there. One, one, because obviously it's a puhi. But two, this is the exact same spot, if you guys remember a few videos ago, where I got bit by an eel while I was hunting some moo. This is the exact same spot where that happened. So definitely was not messing around with any eels at this place because um, that would be some real bad luck if I got bit twice. All right, guys, we just got out the, the water. It's dark, but um, we got some fish. This is Connor's uhu, my uhu, and then big kahala. Smashed it. Yes, saw. Woo. Not a lot. All right, guys, so it is the next day and we got the big kahala, got the uhu in there too, but really nice kahala. I've actually been wanting to shoot a kahala for a while, I don't know why, but I shot my first one when I was like 12 and I just wanted, been wanting to shoot another one. So I'm gonna get a weight on this one and see how much it weighs. I don't think it weighs more than my first one. Um, a lot of you guys probably weren't here for that, uh, it was one of my very first videos, super early on, so many of you guys probably didn't see it, but that one, my first one ever ended up weighing 15 pounds-ish, so I don't think this is more than 15 pounds, but we're just going to check and see anyway. Alright guys, so you, we got the scale all zeroed out, now we're just going to lift. And so not more than my first one, but still a good size, 12.3. And yeah, this is a nice fish. Guys, really nice Kahala. So I'm gonna cut it open and see if it has worms because for those of you guys who don't know, um, Kahalas are pretty infamous for having tons of worms in their meat, but when they don't, they actually taste super good. So I'm gonna check and hopefully he doesn't have worms. If he does, I'll probably just use it for chum or something, but yeah. Nice one, 12 pounds. So I haven't beat my record yet, but hopefully soon. 
All right guys, so I just finished cutting one fillet and as you can see, there are definitely some worms in there and in the fillet as well. So I'm gonna cut the other fillet too, but I'm not surprised. Like I said before, Kahalas are pretty known to have them, but uh, recently I know my friends have been catching them without worms so i wanted to just try see what happens and unfortunately unfortunately this one does have worms but you know it is what it is uh i might try and pull some out or cut around them but most of it is probably gonna i'm probably gonna use it for chum but yeah i, I just heard that they taste really good like when they don't have worms you can eat them they taste really good and i wanted to try it but Unfortunately, as you can see, there's some pretty big bunches of them. So, yeah, unfortunate, but oh well. Still stoked to have shot this fish. Really fun fight. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you and those of you who have stayed to the end of the video. Thank you so much. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed those clips. And um, the Kahalo unfortunately had worms, so I don't know if I'm going to be eating it. Uh, I might try and cut some chunks out around the worms and or pull the worms out or something like that. But if not, I'm just going to use it for chum or fertilizer. So he will go to good use, um, but maybe I might not eat him because of all the worms that he had inside. So uh, one day, I, I though, I do want to try a Kahala that doesn't have any worms in it because I've heard they taste really good. So um, I'm still on the mission to find one that is clean so that I can try it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, that's all I got for you guys today. So I'll see you in the next one. Shoots, everybody.